The tech world wouldn't be complete without an Apple event in September, and in case you didn't have two hours to watch the keynote or you missed it, we're going to summarize it for you. I'm Ryan Rigg, fast, electronic, and loud. So let's break it down here. Watch OS 2. Take advantage, that's the next installment in the Apple Watch OS series. So you're going to have some new software. It's going to bring some new faces to the watch, more ways to customize. You can also see your future with time travel. I thought pretty cool. Put your watch into nightstand mode there. Faster, more powerful apps. Apps run natively now for better performance. You can even do more with the apps, like reply to emails. You could receive emails before, but now you can actually reply to them. You can add more friends. You can get transit information right on your wrist. Use more cards with Apple Pay. And of course, more options with Siri. Some new models here. We've got the orange sport band has been added, as well as the blue sport band. They did also announce a new color, which is the rose gold aluminum case. So you can get that in like a lavender sport band, the stone sport band, or the antique white. Also in the other Apple Watch, they've got some other options as well. This is kind of the middle of the way. You've got the Apple Sport and you got the Apple Watch and then the Apple Watch Edition. So we've got some new options available here, uh, new bands that have also been announced. So that was kind of cool today within the keynote to see some, you know, a new OS. You know, the watch seems like the Apple Watch is so new, but yet the OS is already on its way out with a new version and some new enhancements. So for those with big pockets there, they even upgraded the Apple Watch Edition with some additional bands there. The cool thing is, was the option to customize your bands on the Apple website, you know, the sport band. You had different colors, the Milanese loop, you got the classic buckle, you got the leather loop, modern buckle, and even the link bracelet and purchase the link bracelet kit. But the big ticker today was the brand new announcement of, yeah, the iPad Pro coming in at 12.9 inch retina display. That's 5.6 million pixels. So 264 pixels per inch compared to other models. It's a large one coming in at 12.9 inch. Definitely going to take a shot at Microsoft Surface. Rocking that brand new 64-bit A9X. 2.5 times faster CPU than the iPad Air 2 and 5 times faster graphics. We've got that 8 megapixel EyeSight camera, autofocus, exposure control, burst mode, up to 10 hours surfing the web on Wi-Fi in all of the models, including the brand new iPad Pro. Brand new also is the Apple Pencil that will work for the iPad Pro. Works even down to the pixel level. Cool thing is 15 seconds of charging will give you 30 minutes of battery life through a lightning connector there. It's a magnetic cap for that. And the Apple Pencil for iPad Pro it's going to come out just $99, a lot more flexibility with the screen there. Also, big upgrade, big enhancement, kind of an accessory, is this new keyboard. Yes, that is correct. It's not a Bluetooth keyboard. It's not USB, even though that iPad doesn't have it. It connects with a brand new type of smart connector, so no plugs, no switches, no pairing of any sorts. It just literally slides in. Boom, and you're good to go. And that's $169 for the new iPad Pro when that comes out in November. But I think what kind of took the shine a little bit for me was the brand new iPhone 6S and iPhone 6S Plus. They did add a new color, but the big thing was 3D Touch. It's the next generation of multi-touch. I mean, we're used to pinch and drag and zoom, but now we've got some brand new options. Peek at your emails before you open them. Actually get a look at a website before you actually go there. Visit the photos you're taking while you're still taking new ones. So it seems like a lot of, you know, multi-app involvement within the same app, you know, where you're kind of multitasking all within the same app. Some quick gestures, some quick actions. So it's very cool within the keynote. I highly recommend checking out the full keynote. It's linked down below. But there were some really cool features in that new 3D Touch, so I really can't wait till we can get our hands on one of these new iPhone 6S or 6S Plus. We've got brand new live photos, so we can kind of, it takes some of, a little bit of the picture before and after, so if you go back to it, you can kind of reflect on that moment. So you've got dynamic wallpapers, just a whole new dimension of technology and how they built that retina hd display on top of the touch so now we've got 12 megapixel pictures coming out of this eyesight camera and 4k video that is correct i said it 4k video and a brand new 5 megapixel front facing camera but that new eyesight 12 megapixel camera it's got more pixels in there more on the sensor for your autofocus which is really awesome you got 4k video recording at 30 frames and you can still do 1080 at 60 frames 
but that FaceTime camera in the front got a big upgrade to a 5 megapixel photo and it also works with the flash with the screen retina display flash three times brighter it's got that brand new a9 the most advanced chip ever in a smartphone you're gonna get faster lte and about double the wi-fi speed they indicate about 866 megabits per second but the big question and the big topic was the strength behind the brand new iPhone 6s coming in with that brand new custom apple alloy of 7000 series aluminum the weight here on that's about 5 ounces compared to 7 ounces on the iPhone 6s Plus, but you're going to get about 10 hours of internet use on that or 11 hours of playback. Also, the iPhone upgrade program, something new from Apple, gives you a chance to always upgrade your phone without being committed to your carrier. That is correct. I said without being committed to your carrier phone will come equipped with Apple Care as well and you can choose your own carrier. I thought that was very awesome move by Apple. Like the silver gold space gray have been there, the rose gold is a new color. Don't know how I feel about it, would like to see it, but also brand new Apple TV starting at 149 coming out late October. 32 gig models starting like I said 149. You've got this brand new Siri remote. It's it's got Siri some touch navigation kind of controls in it. It's absolutely unbelievable. Multi-directional navigation, click anywhere, pre precise scrubbing. You can even play games. That is correct, games were announced. Compared to the other Apple TV, a little bit larger, but overall dimension-wise, got a big upgrade, Dolby Digital 7.1. It's got a brand new dual core 8.8 chip, and Apple is saying TV, the Apple TV, the new ones, the future of television. Starting at 149, Siri remote, Surface Touch apps, but yeah, if you didn't have a chance to watch the full keynote, you can check it out. It's linked down below. We wanted to give you a real quick, about seven minute recap, everything we thought you needed to know here. But I'm Ryan Rigg, Fast Electronic and Loud. If you enjoyed the video, please click that thumbs up button. Subscribe to the channel if you're not. Thanks for watching.